You're catching the beat, and among our special guests this evening, I'm very pleased to say, are the beloved who are back after three years with a new album, three years since Happiness. Does it seem that long, John? Um, no, but it is. No, you know, it just, it, some of it flew, and some of it was very pleasantly slow, actually, as well. Well, back with a new look, beloved, now. I mean, your former um, partner in crime, Steve Waddington, is no longer with you. Can mm -hmm. you tell us what happened there? What happened? Well, we just, um, we've been working together a very long time. And I think we'd exhausted all the things that we wanted to do, you know, cooperatively. And so we just met up. We'd had about nine months off, 12 months off, met up, mm. and sort of both said almost simultaneously, you know, we're quite happy working on our own. And that was it. Was it a weird feeling, though? I mean, you'd kind of been together for, what, over 10 years or something like that? I mean, it must have been very, very odd, sort of severing a relationship like that, or was it just up and at the future? I think, I mean, I just think one of the, one of the important things in, in any aspect of life, it doesn't have to be your career, even if you're doing something like, like pop music, which people perceive as being very sort of intense and glamorous, that if you don't change things around every now and again, you'll get incredibly stale. Mm. You know, it's just one of those things that, that in order to rediscover, if you like, the freshness in what you do, that, that you have to change the personnel. Mm. You know, it would be nice, but if... If we'd never changed the personnel, there'd be about 18 people in the group. Let's come together right now. Oh, yeah. In sweet harmony, let's come together right now. Oh, yeah. In sweet harmony, let's come together right now. Talk about the album. First of all, the title, mm -hmm. Conscience. What's that all about? How did you arrive upon that? Um, well, having used a very evocative word as the title of the last one, calling an album that was essentially very up, mm. calling it happiness, um, it seemed, I quite like the idea of trying to find singular words that define or attempt to define the scope of, of the lyrical content. Um, and it is quite an introspective album. It's about the way we feel about Politics is to, like, it puts people off if you say politics, but I mean, things you do in your life have a resonance and they have an effect in the way you behave with other people and treat other people. And, um, you know, I'm a great believer in generally being nice to other people, you know, and it seems like the world is populated with, with people who are just trying to step on other people's shoulders all the mm. time. So, conscience is being accountable for your own actions having a conscience doesn't mean you know you're a sort of bleeding heart liberal or whatever you know but you have to think about what you're doing the consequences of your actions you know when you leave this earth that's all you're leaving behind is what you've done So is it a nervous time for you then at the moment, coming back after three years? If I had enough time to sit down and think about it, it would be, but we're so busy that it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, if you, we really love the album, um, I believe that it, it can do really, really well and that people will, will like it because it's different, it's still different and it's an antidote to, to what a lot of people sound like at the moment.